Well, this week I went to Wombly, South Dakota, to the Pine Ridge Reservation, and I helped um, Native Americans and the kids there. I've got, seen a few documentaries about the uh, state of the living conditions and just the overall, like, how it is there, and so I knew that it was a pretty needy area. Like, I never knew that this poverty was could happen in America. Um, uh, the first two days of camp, I was in Kids Club, which is basically a place where all the kids go from the communities, and um, we hang out with them, we color, we do crafts and sports, they have hard family lives, and they don't have many things to play with. Some of them don't even have shoes, and um, they come there, and we play with them, we hang out, there's a playground, and um, we play basketball with them, and they really enjoy piggyback rides, so we gave a lot of piggyback rides. Well, the first thing I think was that they were all, like, fairly shy. If you ask their name right away, they would hardly ever tell you what their name actually was. You had to tell them your name and get them involved, like, ask them some other questions. And then they told you your name. It was like their name was, like, a special secret that they'd only tell you if it was, like, if they trusted you, you know? They'd only tell your name if they trusted you. But then they were all, like, super loving, too. I think it kind of just gets them away from, you know, their everyday lives, how they, um how they're currently struggling, so it kind of just gets them away, and they can just kind of relax and do what they like. And, um, I guess it's just being, like, a safe zone. So we just, like, loved on them like God would love on them. And they said, why are you all so nice? And, um, the, the person who happened to, she was like, what do you mean? And she's like, why are Christians so nice? And that really impacted me a lot, because I realized how much that in their community they don't have, but when they come to kids' club, they can be kids. And that's what I want them all to feel like, to be loved on. My last two days, I went actually into the community. We went to uh, some houses in the community, about like a mile away or so, not too far. And we painted them. And um, it just looked so great and had more life to it. And um... In the community, um, when we drove around a bit and I went to the work sites, I think, a lot of the houses were run down and they didn't have like... Um, windows, like they had windows but they didn't have the actual like windows in the windows, they had like blankets and like a fan in there and a lot of them had graffiti, like just seeing that some of the kids didn't have shoes was hard and I guess like most of it was a bit shocking to me and I think one th another thing that stood out about the community is when we learned how many people lived in each house and um, one of the staff people, one of the staff leaders told us that there was like 25 people living in a house. I hope that my service this week um, has changed the kids um, to realize that, you know, happiness isn't far and that God loves them. And like, I hope that they just see that there is something like God could be real, possibly. This trip was really going to impact me because I got to see things that I never really was eye to eye with before, um, like real poverty. I really saw God working this week. I just really want people to know that you can make huge impacts if you just do little things. Um, I'd also like to be able to keep that servant's heart that I developed here. I want to do like more projects and like take action in the community more. Um, I think it's going to impact me in that I want to get involved a lot more with stuff at home, you know, it just doesn't have to be with my youth group, but it can just be like by myself. Or... I just feel so um, lucky to get this experience because when I go back home, I know that there's people that are in need like that, and they're going to need my help. Well, I really felt like this week that I've grown in my relationship with Christ because he's been using me for my purpose this week, I feel, in serving these people, and it's just something I feel as I've never done before. Well, I definitely think it it pushes you to see like how how much you need Jesus in your life, especially in situations like that. I want to go back home and try to spread the word and maybe um, serve somehow back home and not just keep it here. Serving for God is just incredible. And Jesus served others while he was here on earth. And uh, one way to show God's love is to serve. Jesus like laid everything down and gave away his rights just to like be like us and serve others. So I want to live through Christ and show that.